Hello, welcome to this video. Um, this evening, for the very first time, I did a live broadcast on Facebook and managed to put up the words of the liturgy alongside myself saying the service. I've been wanting to do this since the pandemic started, but I didn't really quite know how to do it. Um, and I've figured out how to do it. So um, I want to share how I've done this with you. Um, my technical skills aren't that fantastic. Um, I've done it in quite a low key way. I'm sure there's fancier things you can do with this software. And I've literally just downloaded this for the first time this week. So I'm a complete newbie with this. Um, but sometimes it's helpful to hear how to use something from somebody who doesn't really know what they're doing. Um, so I hope this short video um, helps you to set up something similar for your church. If you want to do it either, I do my live um, Eucharists on a Thursday and then on a Sunday I do a pre-recorded service to give myself a little bit more freedom with the Sunday service um, but you may like to do this on a Sunday morning so um, I'm just going to in this video show you how to do it. Right so the first thing you need to do is to download open broadcast software to your computer so go to obsproject.org and you can download this software absolutely for free. Um, I don't know how much space you need on your computer and stuff like that, but um, yeah, you just need to download this to your computer. And this is what it looks like when you download it. Once you've downloaded the OBS software, the first thing you're going to need to do is to get your stream key from Facebook Live. So you go into where you're going to create your live video for Facebook. I'm doing mine in my Facebook group. Um, for my two churches, I'm doing everything in the group so that people from both churches can go to just one place. Um, so click on live video. And that will open up the live producer studio. Now ordinarily when you open up your live producer studio, it will try and choose your webcam that's already in your computer. But we don't want to use that for this if you're using OBS. You want to click on use stream key and you'll see down here it says waiting for live video. All right. And what you need to do is it says stream key there. You need to copy that. Copy. Okay. And then open up OBS again. Go to tools not tools, hang on, I'm still learning this, as you can tell. Settings, that's what we want. <laughs> and then stream. And then if I click on here, I'm just going to, you paste that stream key into there and then click apply at the bottom here. Okay and then click on OK. OK, so we've added the stream key. Then we need to add our camera. So you click on the sources section here on the plus button there. And what we want is video capture device. Now I've already got one in here, add existing. You might have nothing in there, so you just need to create new if you've got nothing in there. And that will choose, it will automatically choose your webcam. Okay. You might have a camera plugged into your computer. You can select that. It should work. Okay. Click that. And what it's done is it's, it's put my webcam, you can see my scruffy study with my lovely eBay bought backdrop. So what you need to do is just move, you can resize this to however big you want. And what I did was about that big, I think, before. So that's that's where I've put my video screen. The next thing we'll need to do is to add our PowerPoint. So let's open that up and get that set, set up in the right way. Okay, to make this work effectively, what I've done is I've created my liturgy 
in a PowerPoint, but I've done it in portrait rather than landscape, which looks a bit weird, but that's how it's going to look good next to the video. Okay, um, now I'll make this PowerPoint available on my website. So if you go to brianytaylor.com, you can download this PowerPoint um, if you want a sort of starting point for yourself, and then you can change some of the wording if you want to. So you can do that. Um, but the way that I did it um, was to go to design and then you go to customize slide size custom slide size and you could choose portrait in there okay so that's how you convert your PowerPoint to portrait instead of landscape and then you can fiddle around with the sizing of the writing so that it comes out quite big so there's my service it's all there um, what you need to do next is go to slideshow set up slideshow and then click this button here browsed by an individual window it will default to this presented by a speaker one you don't want that one you want the second one down browsed by an individual window click on that and then go to slideshow and click from the beginning and there we've got that ready our PowerPoint ready because in this space here that's where I want my PowerPoint to go okay and you'll see now why we've done the PowerPoint in portrait rather than landscape so that the words kind of can fit into this space here okay so now we want to add our PowerPoint so we click on the plus button again to add another source this time it's going to be a window capture so we click on window capture click OK and then we need to click on this little button here and hopefully yes there we are there's the PowerPoint presentation there so you need to find your PowerPoint up it goes okay click on OK now we need to move this around so that it fits so I'm just going to move this across here and make it bigger. Whoops, make it bigger. And drag the corners of this box, hopefully. It's too big. There we go. So that fits in all right there. And I want the video to go over the top. So I'm just going to move the video capture above. Did you see what I did there? So I can move up and down on these arrows here. So that makes it go over the top. I think there are fancy things you can do with this with green screen and stuff, but that's beyond my capabilities. So I'm trying to keep this simple. <laughs> um, so there we go. Um, I'm just going to make that slightly bigger. So you can jiggle this around a little bit. Now, because we're streaming, we can now go over to Facebook to see what it what it's going to look like actually when it happens. OK, so I'm just going to. So I've left that live tab open and you can see now. That that's what the stream key is taking from OBS to go on Facebook. So that's what it will look like when it goes live. So you can see there and you'll notice the stuff that you do on it while it's streaming but not broadcasting is a couple of minutes behind okay um what i would recommend that you do at this stage is that you schedule your live video so you could either when you're ready just go live straight away but what's quite a good thing that i've started to do is actually click on schedule a live video so you click on that and then you choose the date and time share where you want to share it so I'm going to share it in a group but you could share it like on a page or, or on your own timeline or whatever give it a title so give it quite a good title um, like you know said Eucharist for this day or whatever um, and then a little status update you can actually select an image as well to go with it and then you click on schedule and the great thing about that is it will post in your Facebook group. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what comes up on the screen when you schedule. 
Uh, this is one that I did earlier. So it says this live video has ended. But when you schedule it, um, you get this same little update. So there's my update. Join us for our Eucharist this evening, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the great thing about this is that it says uh, Brian Taylor is going to go live at 7 o'clock. And there's a little button that's put at the bottom of this post here that says set reminder and, you, and people that are in the group or on your Facebook page can click on that and then they'll get a little reminder that you're going to go live. So it's really worth doing. Uh, but the thing to remember with choosing to go to schedule is it will go live at the time that you say. So you need to make sure that you are streaming from your OBS software. Okay, and that that's switched on. If you have chosen to schedule your video, you can override that by choosing manual mode and go live when you want to. But otherwise, it will start broadcasting live at the time that you've set it to go. Okay, so that's that. Bit. Okay, so we're back in the OBS software. We've got everything set up how we want it to go. There are other fancy things you can do with this. You can add like images so the other day um, I added something to my notices so you can add an image so you click OK choose a place to find the image so if I go in my online worship folder there's all sorts of rubbish in here but if I if I select um, daily hope which is the phone line from the Church of England see there's that there you click OK and you can move that around so there's like other things you can add to the screen if you want to so I just thought I'd show you that while we're here um, but I'm gonna just delete that you just press delete and it says are you sure and you just say yeah so you can kind of undo things quite easily on here so basically OBS is ready now to go and as long as that says streaming it should be working fine and you can go and check um, on Facebook at any point to so keep that window open on Facebook where you want where you're going to go live when it actually comes to the broadcast what I had to do was um, I had to have my husband in the room and he had the live video on his phone because when you're actually broadcasting the service what all the only thing you'll be able to see on your computer screen is the actual PowerPoint itself because you want to be able to move the slides forwards and backwards okay so basically that's all I can see when I'm taking the service the good thing about that is it makes me look at where the camera is rather than at my face on the screen I'm terrible at watching myself um, but it but the bad thing is that if people are commenting on your live video on Facebook you can't respond to those comments um you uh you can't see anything that's going on but you can look at the comments after the service and i found that that worked out all right actually for me um and i just got my husband to move the slides forwards and backwards and he was just checking on his phone that it all looked present and correct and it worked um so it's it's fairly low low key really um so i'm just moving the slides forwards like that just in the normal way um, through the service and you just have to hope that your camera is working and that your microphone's working. Um, just a little tip, um, it is worth buying a microphone uh, because the microphone that's built into your laptop if you're using a laptop or computer tends to not be very good quality but mobile phone uh, microphones are pretty good um, but it is worth buying um, a, a decent microphone uh, for your computer. Um, for doing this sort of stuff okay thanks for watching i hope you found it helpful um and uh, as i say i'm a complete newbie with this i've literally downloaded obs project this week so i may have even done some things wrong um but i've managed to make it work for me